Gotta love stupid songs. No, I don't. I don't, I don't gotta. No punching. I can just like stupid songs. <laughs> hey, welcome back to Stupid Reactions, and it's O Corbin. How you doing? We can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juice content links on Patreon. Follow us on our first YouTube channel. Got a treat for you today. Right into a short film. Oh, good. Ani Rakashi. Wow. Roddy Gopte. Shut the <laughs> front door. <laughs> I don't know who else, but it's called The Day After Everything. Uh, and I want to thank our stupid family. I, I heard about this film a while ago. And it is a uh, royal stag, but they usually always come with subs embedded. This one does not have subs. With Anurag Kashyap and Radhika Apte, you're not gonna sub it? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this is before they started doing the subs uh, for- What in the wild, wild world of sports is but going on? Our lovely subbers oh. subbed it. And it's like a 19 minute short film. So oh. I know that's not easy work. Oh, so I want to thank, thank you, guys. you in advance because thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I have no doubts this is going to be fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm here this would be the up shocker up. of the year if this is no good. That would be a because shock. It's it would be like you know I don't know I'd give a million examples. I'll be astonished if this is. Well, let's great. go. I don't I know what it's about. I love it already. I don't have I don't have any like synopsis or anything either. So that's good. I love that we're going in blind. Something tells me it's gonna be gritty. What does that work? Ribbing and gritty? Ridding. Gritting. 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 Oh, oh toast. toast! Toast! Mirage? No, that's not our no, Mirage. No, it's not our Mirage. Not our Mirage. sound. Hard wash. Hard bar wash? <laughs> Hard cashew? Hard dust. Sorry. What a lovely conversation. It's not a conversation.
काम निपटा के भागने की पड़ी रहती है ये नहीं की घर में बैठे बच्चा बीमार है घर में इतना काम है अरे पंकज पैसे भेजता है उससे हम लोगों का गुजारा हो जाता है धो भी से वो लड़कियाँ क्यों भिड़ गई क्या जरूरत थी उसके मूल्य में की अरे लड़कों के मूल्य होगी तो अच्छी बात है क्या कल को कोई बात हो जाए तो दिल्ली का नया सब सुनकर आपकी रुख क्रांत जाएगी घर में मैं इतना है सुनकर आपको याद आ जाएगी मन जा इसके बाद उसके पेट के अंदर तेल की सीसी और नौकरी मिले पांच साल की बच्ची को चालीस घंटे तक बंधक बनाकर बेरहमी से न सिर्फ उसका रेप किया गया बल्कि उसके साथ खूब है बहुत ही गलत उसके साथ उसका हुआ था इसके बाद उसके पेट के अंदर तेल की सीसी और मोमबत्ती मिली इसका गले का चाकू से काट दिया था जिस मकान में उसे रह रहे गांधीनगर के अमर मोहल्ले में रहने वाली इस बच्ची को पंद्रह अप्रैल की शाम तक अगवा किया गया जब वो अपने घर के बाहर खेल रही थी घर वालों ने गांधीनगर पुलिस में मामला दर्ज करवाया लेकिन बच्ची नहीं मिली I guess, or this one, I don't know.
job. फोन करना ओके हाँ दीदी चलो Thank you. 
बोलो
मैंने तो सुबह से सोच रहा था कि ऐसे लोगों को ना सबक सिखाना बहुत जरूरी है अच्छा किया तुमने मैं तो सोच के आया था कि आज तो देख लूंगा शाम को उनको सही किया तुमने ऐसे लोगों को जरा लाइन पे लाना बहुत जरूरी है चीनी कितनी लेती हो तुम चाय में What was the message? I think the primary message was uh, the more things change, the more they stay the same. What What was that girl? Who was that girl? The one that was watching them. You can look. One of the three friends. No, not the not the three friends that were fighting. The ones that drove her, and then was like, "You have to do it now or never." Oh, who is that person? I don't know. That's what I was confused. Yeah, by. I was confused by that too. Yeah. What would you think? Um, I mean, it made me realize I should probably write a screenplay about the subject matter because it's so passionate to me, and I think about it consistently. Of like doing a, a V for Vendetta kind of a story mm. um, because uh, the justice system and the uh, policing systems in all over the world mm -hmm. don't get it right. No. Um, and too many men do that. And it'd be nice <laughs> to see it stop. Um, I, I, I not only have no understanding for it, and I liked it. I, I liked that the that Anurag made us uncomfortable. Mm. Well, of course, that's I. I, that's what I would be good. upset if I wasn't. Yeah, it, like it, especially with this style story. Yeah, uh, it's. I don't expect to feel good story. <laughs> no, I, you shouldn't. No, and I didn't. It didn't go where I was expecting it to go. I felt. Neither the, did I. It the the fight sequence for me felt a little bit belabored. In, in terms of the length, and also, it wasn't very realistic to was me. Was this, because Himanshu put in little stars that said this was a real rape case. I don't know if they were talking about this one specifically. Or the one on the news. Or the one on the news. Right. So maybe like this, what happened in this fight with these, the girls, that I'm guessing these guys have done stuff to these girls in the past, obviously. Yeah. Um, and this fight was like real, um... And, and all this kind of stuff. I don't, I don't, I don't know that. Um, so if, if that's the case, and people just know the story, I don't. Yeah, obviously it's. In, I think implying maybe that that the day after everything. But I think it's assuming. You know what yeah, case that, this is. That day after every day. But and I also think the title does. Sorry, day after every day. Yeah, I still think that the title means like it's that day after every day. The more things change, the more they stay the same. It's whenever women try to step up and fight and stand up for themselves. Nothing changes. It's the same the next day. Mm -hmm. uh, the husbands keep talking the way they're talking and excusing it, uh, saying dumbass things like it's because of chow mein noodles. <laughs> uh, yeah. Or the, the the equally dumbass statement of if women just didn't show their bodies. Yeah. Sorry, if women were walking around completely naked, no. social show some self control, you piece of crap. Yeah. Uh, and I just I felt like. I, and this may be my own imposition on it, but when a situation like that comes up and you see a woman uh, standing up for herself, there's a level of cathartic release I want to see that this didn't get for me. Well, in the might, fight sequence. It might have just been, like I said, it might be telling a true story. Right. And also, India is a very different place than we are here. And so the responses people would have in India are very different. You even saw when Radhika was about to get molested, raped, her friends were walking away because mm -hmm. they they were. I'm assuming they were like, we can't, we can't do anything. And then obviously no, and they were getting chased. And if we get involved, we'll be gang raped with her. Yeah. 
So, uh, and so obviously it's a very different place than it would be here. If you saw this happening in the streets, there'd be so many people, obviously. Oh my goodness, if something like that happened in the streets of the United States, the only time a rape occurs in the United States that you hear about it, it's because a girl was jogging in the park at night in UCLA and no one was around. They have to attack in that atmosphere because if it's done anywhere within earshot of anybody, they, people will come run. And there have been instances where, like one of my favorite instances was there was the, a serial killer here called the walk-in killer back in the 1980s who was scaring everybody because all he was doing was checking the back door and if it was open, he'd come in and he'd kill whoever was in the house. Mm -hmm. His name was Richard Ramirez. And the way that they caught him, people in the neighborhood where he was at one night trying to kill, recognized him, beat the crap out of him, and called the cops and held him there and beat the living crap out of him nice. until the cops arrived. Love it. That's what happens here. That's why it has to be done are, in, a, in, a, in a way that's like not seen. Are like keychain mace things not easily accessible in India? I don't even think it's legal. Really? It may be the case, that's what I thought. It should be. It should be. Especially with the, the amount that it happens in India. We yeah. Have, like it happens all the time. Yeah. Um, the, the fact that that, I mean, People here, it's not. It's it's obviously not uncommon for women to be harassed. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, but obviously, it's 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 legal here to have a for a lot of women. I feel do have it. They my have, daughters have it. Yeah, mace in their purse or on. It's their a combination of military grade tear gas, pepper spray, and mace with a paint, so that when it's sprayed in and around the face, it stains them so that they can be recognized by the police. And it's military grade tear gas. It often blinds them and makes them vomit for 15 minutes. And most women here mm -hmm. get that and they're trained on how to use it. There's self-defense classes in that regard. There's also the same thing that's a combination of the tear gases with a, uh, a siren, a, you know, a deafening sound to, be, to stop the assailant as well as to make people know about the emergency. But again, that doesn't stop them all for sure. No, of course not. Uh, but like I, I just, every time we see a bunch of these stories in, in films and stuff and it never happens where they... Bring out mace or bring no, out... No, and I'll tell you what, the, the stories that we know occur and they, you know, these kinds of stories can occur everywhere, but the, the prevalence with which we hear of hellishly, fiendishly evil violations, like the story of a five-year-old girl with a bottle of oil and candles inside of her, um, I can't begin to comprehend the level of evil, evil depravity inspired by hell yeah. that causes someone to even formulate a thought about such an activity, let alone follow through on it. Uh, Absolutely and evil. I've said it before, what I think punishments should be for those who are caught of that would never be allowed in the j criminal justice system anywhere on the planet right now because I'm medieval. Yeah. So. <sighs> it did what it's supposed to do in terms of making you uncomfortable. And mad. Uh, and mad. I just, as far as the filming of the scene, there wasn't anything about the fight scene where I I felt a vested interest and concern for anybody, nor did I think it was anything that was satisfying my need to see yeah. the cathartic release. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, and it may be like a true story that you guys know what happened in this fight or whatever. And clearly she That's does... the vibe it was giving me, that it, it was true. And I think clearly she makes the choice at the end to not kill when she has every right to be a killer mm -hmm. right so there's that moral high ground of and i don't know how much of that we're supposed to garner from that yeah so yeah yeah conversation piece for sure yeah love on your own obviously radica uh wonderful beautiful actress um she i, I it would shock me if she's ever done bad work i'm telling you mm -hmm. right now yeah no i, I agree it might be in bad film I'm telling you, she's never done better work. Yeah. I, I would be shocked. <laughs> Same yeah. way I would with, like, Nawaz or, or Panka. Like, I would be legitimately shocked if yeah. they've ever done bad work. Not a bad film, but themselves do bad work. I think the only thing maybe they would do that we wouldn't pick up on that we can in films here is, like, an accent. An accent. Yeah, like when Benedict Cumberbatch couldn't do a Bostonian accent. Mm -hmm. And he's a brilliant actor. It's still shocking. Yeah. Anyway, let still. us know what's the next short film we should watch down below. <laughs> Look,